Ahoy, shipmates. Today we have a interesting vessel. Not familiar to the port of Southampton. Owned by Royal Caribbean Cruises. It's the allure of the sea. The Allure of the Seas is a Oasis class cruise ship. And these are, the, as of 2018, these were the largest passenger vessels ever in service. The Allure is 50 millimeters longer than her sister ship, the Oasis of the Seas, though both were built at the same specification. On her launch in November 2009, she became the world's largest passenger ship, taking the place of Oasis of the Seas. She was eclipsed by her sister ship, Harmony of the Seas, upon its launch in June 2015. Harmony of the Seas has an overall length of 362.12 metres. Lure of the seas has an overall length of 362 metres. Only being pitted by a few millimetres. It is a slightly hazy day again in Southampton. The weather is nice, the breeze is strong, but there is definitely reduced visibility. You can just about make the make out the Azura on the left. In between is the Red Funnels Red Kestrel Goods Ferry. And flanking the allure of the seas on the port side are two tugs. Weighing in at uh, 225,000 gross tons, 362 metres long, a beam of 47 metres, and a height of 72 metres. The draft is 9.3 metres. There are 16 passenger decks and a total of 18 decks. Propulsion is by three 20 megawatt or 27,000 horsepower Azipod drives, as well as four 7,400 horsepower bow thrusters. Passenger capacity is 5,484 at double occupancy, a maximum of 6,780. The crew, as of 2019, is 2,200. The Lure of the Seas was first laid down on 2nd December 2008 in the Turku shipyard in Finland. She was launched on 20 November 2009. She left the shipyard and headed directly to her home port, the port of Everglades near Fort Lauderdale, Florida in the USA. The ship is equipped with telescoping funnels to pass under bridges such as the Storbelt Bridge which she passed on the 3rd, 30th of October 2010. While media has reported that there was only 30 centimetres, 12 inches of clearance, the truth is that the main mean water level, it was closer to 2 to 3 metres. 
and the much advertised squat effect whereby vessels travelling at speed in shallow channel will be drawn deeper into the water did not have significant effect on the draft of the vessel. The ship was formerly named by her godmother, the fictional character Princess Fiona, in a ceremony on the 28th of November 2010. In February 2014, the lure of the seas entered a dry dock at Grand Bahama Island for seven days to replace a damaged gearbox in one of her azipods. As the dry dock facility was not large enough to fully accommodate an Oasis-class ship, a unique solution had to be devised to allow the replacement, known as Project Atlantis. During her time in dry dock, the crew used the downtime to make numerous repairs and refurbishments to the guest suites, including the installation of new carpets. Allure of the Seas sails year-round in the Caribbean region out of Port Everglades from its home port in 2010 though through to 2014. She changed her to Barcelona and sailed the Mediterranean between May and October, becoming the largest cruise ship and the first Oasis cruise ship to spend a full season in that region, after which she returned to Port Everglades. And in the background you can see the Britannia, frankly being dwarfed by the allure of the seas. In March 2019, Allure of the Seas was named second for Best Cruise Overall in the 2019 Cruise Critic Cruiser's Choice Award. In early May 2019, the itinerary for some of the ship's sailings had to be adjusted due to a technical issue with one of the ship's propulsion pods, causing it to have to sail at reduced speed. The Lure of the Seas is expected to be refitted in early 2020, um, which will include the addition of approximately 50 more passenger cabins. It's been a busy day in Southampton Water. No ships for hours, and then three ships at once. Britannia, Azura, and here comes the Allure of the Seas with the Red Eagle. And the Red Funnel. And there we go. And here comes the police patrol boat. Zip. The classified length of the Allure of the Seas is the same as her sister ship, 360 metres though she is reported to be 50 millimetres longer than the Oasis of the Seas. According to the shipyard, this is not intentional and such small difference in the length may occur simply due to the temperature of the steel in the ship as big as this. The gross tonnage of the Allure of the Seas, 225,000 tonnes, and her displacement is equal to the Oasis of the Seas, which is estimated to be around 100,000 metric tonnes significantly less than the American Nimitz-class aircraft carrier. Her steel hull weighs roughly 54,000 tonnes. The ship features a two-deck dance hall, a theatre with 1,380 seats, an ice skating rink, seven distinct neighbourhoods, 25 dining options, including a Starbucks coffee shop at sea, Many of the ship's interiors were extensively decorated by muralist Clarissa Parrish. Before beginning service from the Port of Everglades, Lure of the Seas was fitted with an 80 kilowatt solar array by 
BAM Energy Group, which powers the shopping district. The system costs $600,000 and covers an area of 2,000 square meters. It uses unisolar BIPV laminates designed to withstand foot traffic and marine conditions. You can see the immenseness of this cruise ship, the outside space at the rear is phenomenal. And you will also see at the top of the stern are the flow rider pools, the pitch and putt course, solar panels and the telescoping funnels. Coming into berth at the city terminal. The tugs are in attendance for safety. The ship has a very large central atrium which features cabins with balconies which you can just about see through the stern of the ship. The large theatre at the back is the Aqua Theatre. Theatre. Chops Grill. Also on board is a live comedy venue. And if you need to have a business conference, there's a conference area. The pitch and putt course. Don't lose your ball over the edge. A jazz venue. And this is the main dining room. The Park Cafe. And this is the area surrounding the pool. This is the Central Park. The Amber Theatre. The Blaze Bar. Casino, Central Park, which has over 12,000 plants, the Doghouse, that's where you'll probably find this old shipmate, Giovanni's, Il Zumi, Johnny Rockets. Nightclub. The Royal Promenade. The Samba Grill. The Fantastic Solarium. 
Sorrentos. Too many Sorrentos, and you can go for a spin class. Starbucks, no drive through. And one of the flow riders that we saw on the stern of the ship. The coastal kitchen. The solarium bar. The ice skating rink. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Chef's table. And there's even a rock wall. And in Sabor, a modern Mexican restaurant. My Latin lover will like that. And the Solarium Bistro. And not least the self-service restaurant. Well, shipmates, I hope you enjoyed this little tour of the Allure of the Seas. Until next time.